a month, man, and I ain't got 750 to pay. Uh, this is the laziest f demon I've ever seen. This, is, this, That's what I kept this demon just sits on a table and just reads a book and just every now and then will shove something over. And that demon just drops one pan. And the audience acts like that's the scariest thing in the world. And, and then wait till the end to do everything. I'm like, man, you are not a, a goal-oriented demon no, at all. It's no, not it's really almost, evil. Yeah. He's just kind of a dick. I thought you were just, <laughs> just getting pissed off because you couldn't find the f***ing Pop-Tarts. I mean, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I've seen you like that. The prequel that turns into a sequel. It, it turns into a sequel, yeah. I like these kind of movies where, all right, you know, they make really ordinary life seem creepy. They don't use a lot of special effects. It all takes place in a suburban home. It's surrounded by people. So, you know, it's not exactly like you're alone, but you can still be in danger. And then I, the more I watched this, I was like, yeah, but when they make a story about the creepiness of ordinary life, you also have to watch a lot of ordinary people do a lot of ordinary dull things for a long time. You know what? And I didn't even mind that so much. I watched this one. I'm like, well, this is everything I saw in the first one, except I kind of like these characters better. I mean, this, this yeah. family, like the actors in it are, are better, at least at, at ad lib and seeming like a, a real family. I was kind of interested in what they had going on, their, their whole dynamic. And then they bring in the supernatural, but yeah. they don't just drop it in and let you enjoy yeah. it. It's a little bit here. You watch a long scene at night waiting for a chair to move an inch. Well, and have the audience go, oh! This is what I thought they should have done with the sequel. I thought they should have got the ghost, from, the demons from the original film and talked to them, get that side of the story. Yeah. <laughs> talk to them yeah. and be like, yeah, we came in, rattled some pans, made some scary noises, but we didn't have nothing to do with no death in that house. That bitch was a chronic sleepwalker. She was abusing that husband of hers every day. We, had, we, we had nothing to do with that at the end. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck happened. We was about to come out and scare her and say boo, but she threw that up into a camera and we were just like, hey man, we gone. Yeah. <laughs> that chick with that knife in a hand turn on those demons if y'all say a f***ing word about what y'all saw here <laughs> yeah. that'll be your ass <laughs> yes ma'am yeah. we ain't gonna say nothing it's a family yeah. of a dad I know you guys are freaked out. his uh his new wife their new baby and the dad's daughter and the dog and the dog it, 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 and it, the it, demon yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the other cool actor <laughs> and of course we cannot forget uh, the the Spanish maid. Oh, yeah. who apparently oh, is a oh. exert ex expert in demons and exorcisms and things like that. Like you know all Spanish album? maids. Yeah, are. don't you know that? <laughs> I ain't af I ain't afraid no ghost essay. Exactly. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's, it's true. Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the uh, the mom is family is related to uh, Katie from the last movie. It's, it's her a, sister. Yes, yeah, they're sisters. The last movie made clear like something happened in Katie's past when she was a little girl had to do with ghosts or demons or something. I and mean, the point of this film is to provide a tiny bit more of that mythology of what happened sure. that story a but, but, really the tiniest little bit but I, I really do have respect for movies that shy away from the CG for their horror I mean I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm so tired of that today well but, but this had some this yeah, had but, some, but you know it worked effectively if you're if, if, if you're skittish and you want to be scared by this rent it you'll have a good time watching it at home in the dark it's even creepier by yourself so that's my rating a rental even though it is technically better than the first one there is no going back and doing it again. Uh, the best I can give it is a low rental. Yeah, and, and that bit at the end was, was just incredibly lame. But at the same time, the first movie for me was a f*** you. This one is just a low rental. This is the exact same movie. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. It's better executed. And I probably would have liked this movie a whole lot more if it had been the first film. Um, but, I mean... I'm giving it a rental. If you do watch it with a bunch of friends and want just to be scared, just want to find any excuse just, just to scream, <laughs> I think this is the movie for Yeah, you. I think you and I are on the same page yeah, there, yeah. yeah. I always watch the movie with the audience, and then I'm just like, hey, none of that. Ghosts don't scare me. Fuck a ghost. And Pussies. It, yeah, exactly. What the fuck y'all scream at it? Oh, but you watch it at home. By but yourself. when I watch it at home by myself, it freaks me the fuck out. It, it messes with my head. And that's the Blair Witch are two movies, which I feel kind of bad for like saying those movies ain't effective. I was just say, your, your black comedians are always making jokes about how like white people are so stupid they always stay in the haunted house. No one is more scared of ghosts than you are. That's why we don't stay in the house. That's, no, that's, yeah, that's why we don't stay. They have no story to tell because they haul ass as yeah, soon as no, they hear. No, the white people have that long history of like, hey, we came over here, took a whole country away from Indians. What's a ghost gonna do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll take Shit. this house away from the ghost. Time to make it real. Everybody now.